Hi guys, today we're going to show the 75 gallon aquarium in our classroom. There's some really great looking cichlids in there, and if you stick around until the end, we'll have a feeding video for you. As always, please subscribe down below as we'll be coming out with new videos each week. Here we have the 75 gallon aquarium currently in our high school biology classroom. I've had this tank for about a year now, and this is the first summer that I've used automatic lights and automatic feeders primarily. However, I still do see the tank almost every day as I come to the school for coaching over the summer. The tank still gets a weekly water change and cleaning, along with the three other aquariums that are in this classroom. And we'll be showing those tanks in future videos, so again, please feel free to subscribe. As you can see, the decor here is a mix of driftwood, fake plants, and rocks. We went with live plants for a little bit, but the cichlids continued to uproot them, so we had to go with the fake plants. We went with a dark, sandy substrate here, and that, along with pristine water parameters and a varied diet, really makes a lot of our fish colors pop, and we can't wait to discuss each one of these. So just going into that, um, front and center here, you'll see our green terror. Um, this guy is relatively new to the tank. Um, he had a little bit of a fight when he got into the tank initially, um, where he has some of that damaged finish. However, it started to grow back, and the hierarchy of the tank is more, than, more or less established. The king of the tank here is absolutely this Jack Dempsey. He is just beautiful. Um, there's quite a background story on him, and we'll actually get into that further in another video. Poking out of this rock cave here is actually a Salvini cichlid. Um, this guy is just beautiful and has awesome colors. Sometimes these guys can get really aggressive, but ours is relatively docile, which may be due to the Jack Dempsey being the king of the tank and really ruling everyone else. Panning over to the two convict cichlids, um, as you can see, they're always going after each other like any other pair of convicts would. However, since they're both females, um, they do take it relatively light on each other. Um, of course, as I say that, they're going after each other. Um, but usually they stay on opposite ends of the tank and they leave each other alone. So as you can see, the Jack Dempsey is poking himself back out, and this guy just has amazing color. When we first got this fish, he was much smaller, much lighter, and he's really started popping in color. And lastly, we have the giant Daniels up here. We have four of them. Um, that just gives a little more activity to the top part of the tank, as some of the guys down here tend to stay at the bottom of the tank. Again, this green terror was introduced about four weeks ago, and as you can see there, he's a little feisty, but overall, the tank's really calmed down, and there really is a hierarchy that has been established. Although aggression in this tank has leveled out and nothing's too serious, we do have backup tanks in case we do need to separate any of these fish. Sometimes when you're keeping aggressive fish, such as green terrors and Salvini cichlids, you always need to be considering the possibility that the fighting could lead to something more serious, and we are prepared to handle that. One interesting thing that happened over the last couple weeks is we actually had the giant Danios here at the top breed in the tank. Um, typically, Danios will drop their, their eggs onto decor or plants. We just happened to be moving some of our live plants that were not doing so hot into a 10-gallon tank to recuperate, and these eggs actually hatched, and now we have quite a bit of fry in our 10-gallon tank that are growing out and doing really well. So that was just really cool to see. So that pretty much sums up the 75-gallon aquarium that's in our classroom. We'll be going into more detail on some of the other aspects of this tank in future videos, as well as species spotlights on a few of the fish that are in this tank. If you'd like to see more of that, feel free to subscribe down below. Um, and as promised, we're going to leave you with the feeding video here. These fish go crazy for frozen brine shrimp, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.